Hey peeps, it's Mr. Ben175, and today I'm going to talk about... I'm going to talk about Apple. It might seem random, but trust me, there is a reason for this. Because there's something actually quite important, because it's the Apple iPad 3. Yes, it's coming out in a few days, and yes, it's going to be amazing. Three times better than ever, and the gaming is obviously going to be brilliant on there. Trust Angry Birds on there. But, there is one big problem with it. But before I get to that, you all know Apple. I'm sure I'm sure you all do. I'd be, I'd be very surprised if you don't. In fact, Apple is so popular, I've actually got one of their products right here. Yeah, with the good old Apple logo. Which you can't see. There you go. There you go. There you go. Right. If you can't see it, you know what it looks like. It's pretty. It's pretty obvious. It's that famous. It's multinational. But this could strike as a hit with the iPad 3, and it might not necessarily be in a good way. Here's why. Okay. The reason for this is. Ah. Don't you hate it when someone just gets in the way? As in, someone's trying to contact you during the video that I'm trying to do live right now. Right, let's just see how this plans out. Hello? Ben, may I interrupt your live show for a second? Um, hey host, what is it? Because this is really, really bad timing. Well, I just want to ask you when the second live chapter 2 will be happening. I have a party to be at soon, so don't take too long to tell me. Right, you, right, you can do either A, you can ask the boss, or... I'll put you in for a few days, alright? How's, how's that sound? Because I'm pretty sure I'm quite tied up right now, so the second life will be here soon. How's that How's that for you? Okie dokie. Did you hear that, Sonic? Yes, I heard it well. Now, Ben, carry on with your talk about live video, please. We will be watching. Shut up, Sonic, and let him get on with it. You started it. No, you started it. No, you started it. I'm trying to kind of get on with my video about Apple, so can you please just let me get on with it? I hate to be so rude there. But please, I'm trying to do this. Oh, sorry. Carry on. I will prepare myself with the next chapter backstage. Host, keep refilling that coke. Sorry, Ben. Ignore us. As you were saying. Right, yeah, as I was saying, sorry about that, folks. I will try and make sure that doesn't happen again, and I'm going to punish him in the next chapter. So you better be around for that to see it. Right, anyway, I was... <laughs> what was I talking about? Yeah, yes, Apple. Yeah, the good old Apple logo, which you might just be able to see. Yeah. Right, they, yes, they are so popular, and the Apple iPad 3 might be just the thing that's actually going to drag them down. And they might actually just make a loss out of this. And here's the reason why. Generally, you might have heard about this, but the connection speed and the way it can play videos and how quickly it can load things is about four to five times faster than anything else. Now that is that is pretty big, it's pretty huge. But the problem is, with the UK network, it's not compatible. And I'm just thinking, does that even make it possible for it to be used properly? in the UK. I mean, it, it should work in America, and it should work in many of the other European areas, but England, I'm afraid it's kaput. It won't work. So if you're thinking of getting an iPad, Apple, Apple iPad 3, just bear that in mind, especially in the UK, because it's, I just forgot to tell people, because you might make a serious loss, considering it's about 550 quid. So it's certainly not a cheap one. Yeah, just bear that in mind, because I know someone who's just made that mistake, and that here's this video. It actually just came from that. So, yeah, so I'm glad. I'm glad I've told you about this. Bear that in mind. If you're not, if you're not in the UK, it should be fine. Everything should be hunky dory. But I'm just thinking here. Is Apple going to do anything about it, or are they just going to move on and try and get better and better? And basically, the version of computers for Apple might be gone for the UK. Because if they're only getting better, how are they going to be more compatible? So that's that's what I'm wondering. Obviously, with the music devices, especially these kind of little ones, apparently these were meant to be on your watch. Meant to be on your watch. These were meant to be a watch on your wrist, like this one. 
how's that going to work? Because notice this. That's where the headphones go in. Now, if you had these on your arm, and they are intended for running, if you did this, aren't you just going to pull the wire out every time you move? I mean, it might sound like I'm scrutinising it, but these are things you should consider, because they're not quite as obvious as you think. Yeah, these are hook on to me. We've got little clipper things. And I'm just wondering, will any of the Apple products actually work properly in the future? Because they are slag... It's, well, it's wrong to say slagging off, but it's more on the idea of is it going to be as successful as it was? Or is it just going to be just another iPhone or another iPad that's about two times better than the last one, only in terms of connection speed? Everything else will still work on there. You see, this is what I'm wondering. So what do you think? A. What is your favourite kind of Apple device? And B. Would you consider getting one for 500 quid, even if it was just double the speed and that's it? And the rest of it was the same. It's, it's an interesting question. It's something you've got to think about, because you might go, Oh my god, wow! But it might not be as wow as you think. So just be aware of that. I mean, Apple's a great company, and I still use these things, but there are flaws that need to be spotted, especially considering you're the customer. So bear that in mind. Okay, that should get you something to think about. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this talk about video. I should be doing more of these. The last one I did was the Brits. That went a bit well. That was genuine because I was there. But this time, it was about Apple. So please just consider that, and thanks for watching, and join me next time on Mr. Bevel 75. That's me. Moi. Thanks for watching.